Sahiri, Sahiri, Asubuhi chema shangilia kwa Yesu jamani maana Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu haleluya tunakuinua Mungu wetu wewe ni mwema
Tukiabaradia Ida vito no auto menyere ire oga togi tera baba le tuaria kujeh hawa gai le rogo shwa muadani ne togo kuera ben gai de inu ame tore ine ito ne togo kogo sha na toga kuambaradia ne todo e gai monene vegio muda maki moega na moto giva ba ne todo gai vito ago to menyere rao mo vito amokera gumana rogo shiva ba wen wen gai de inu ame tore ine ito. Gotire na gai yo getiga we muadani. Nane kio mo damaki moega na motugi gai. Toku gawe mo deru mo no gai. Na angoroshito na meshiria maito maga kwa bararia. Toge kogo osha na toge kwa bararia rosi ne ruega ruwa omodi. Ne todo gai vito ne togo maniye de inu anyo be no gai. Nane geda gai de vito tuwa bararie. Na to teare tuare yaku mo damaki mo nene. Ne kio gai vito togo kogo osha na toga kwa bararia. Na to kau gawe mo deru mo no gai, ona gotire gai o geti gawe mo adani. Ida vito toge o kana korewe Jehovah gai. Ne to gogo dai da mo da makimo ega na mo digu. Ne to do gai da vito to tora gade na ihore tu onewe hiya mo adani. To go kanga gai vito to kehera me hiya maito. Maria tu ehe tia to kearia. To ge shiria mo da makiwa matuine. Ona to ge kamo da makimo ega. Gai de vito ne togo go dai da o to deli o mo e vito. To deli e reu gai vito mo da maki mo e gana mo digu. Nane todo a mo to shire re li o le a mo nene a rewe jeso Christo. Ne togo go dai da da kame a Christo jeso. Gai de vito e ro to deli a mo a dani. E ro to deli a o mo e vito gai vito. Nane ge da to tue ke agwe te kere kama i de ne maku gai. Nane ge da gai de vito mo da maki mo e gana mo digu. To shoke ko higi a be do a ku gai. Ona gai de vito to higia gai vito mo da maki wa matuine. Geto mike nane gai vito kere gaya to tumire gai vito. Oto higia mo huro wali wa muadhani. Neki o gai de vito netu wago da idha muadhani. Netu wa hera mehi ya gai de vito mage de bagio de gai. Tu wa hera tuwe bere yaku gai vito. Ide vito to ke hera mehi ya gai vito ke wagona ge de ruke ya matuine. Mehi ya gai vito mo da maki mo ega gai. Maito na mashi ya nashito. Masiari ya ito muadhani Gaitha vito na madore re sito muadhani Ona gaitha vito ma modo wa wadha gai vito wa bire na mohia na waku gai Gaitha vito na toko hera tuwe bere ya ku gai Na toka uga na tuwe heti ya gai 
Ona toka dhiye ta ngodu itare na more idhi muadhani. Neto kwe daga idhe vito kore idhi onewe gai. Neto kwe daga idhi vito mudha makimu ega baba. Kure kero wa mehi ya newe muadhani. Oka ga idhi vito mudha makimu ega gai. Idhe vito to igwere edha muadhani. Dekyo ga idhi vito mudha makimu ega. Neto doa ugire tuwa gwe tanga idhe vito na tuwa nyi hahare we gai. Idhe vito neo gato igwere adha gai. Ona ga idhe vito neo kari gane ruwane mehi ya maito muadhani. Nekyo gai vito ne tuwa hera tore bere yaku. Na tuwa godhaida na tuwa nyi hana kore we gai. Ona tuwa hoya ngai vito kethe ini wangoro sito. Na meshiri ya maito mudha makimu ega. Nige dha udha make gai vito. Nige dha utu ea goro siya kwenye hiya gai. Utu ea goro gai dhe vito siya kwenye hiya mono gai. Na nige dha gai dhe vito toke kwa iguwa muga bo aku. Ona nige dha gai dhe vito to dhye na medhiere ere ya udhigu. Na nige dha toko gosi dha gya matuko maito mode gai. Na nige dha ge keno gito gai vito mudha makimu ega. Ge kinyanere mudha makimu ega gai. Neke one toha ya roho waku mudheru gai. Aroto dha makira baba muega. Dha makira agorosito na meashiri ya maito. Ithe vito soke gai vito mudha maki muega. Kwa igua gai dhe vito mudha maki mabataro maito gai. Mare ya mato watareti ya mudha maki wa matwini. Omwe vito gai vito wale na ibataro bere yaku gai. Ete kira mudha maki wa matwini gotoliri kana gai. Ithe vito mama gege tete hinya gai. Ete kira jayova gai dhe vito mudha maki muega gai. Go kana gotura ajera mudha maki wa matwini. Neto do gai dhe vito mudha maki muega gai. Newe motoro ereli gai. Ona noe moto giteli dhe vito. Oka gai vito mudha maki muega baba. Oshoke gai vito ko mudha maki muega baba. Idhe vito goto gana na mabataro gai dhe vito mao muwe vito. Nanege dha gai dhe vito kiko gona gede ruwa kia matwine. Idhe vito wedo waku higia mudha maki muega. Neke idhe vito netu wago dha idha muno gai. Okare mudha maki muega gai. Ona gedo mo inege ke gai ro sine ruwega ruwa umode. Oka gai dhe vito mudha maki warie na idhwe. Oka oto menyi dhio rea okwenda gai vito. Ona gai dhe vito rea okotoe kiwa gaya ku gai. Roho waku mudheru gai dhe vito wa mudha makire. Wera wode gai dhe vito kiko gona toko rekiria bere ya ku gai. Idhe vito mudha maki muega baba. Ete kira gai dhe vito kudha makira omu e vito. Toki nyeria wega waku na utugi waku muadhani. Gai dhe vito baba muega na motigu gai. Idhe vito woka gai na oto radhime. Neto go kena na toko se muadhani. Thank you, Idhe Vito, Mudha Maki Mwega Gai. Thank you, Netodo Waka Nidho Vito, Mudha Maki Wa Mwoyo. Idhe Vito, Watu Etira Nagedha Togo Mana Gedha Ine Waki Gogo Nageke Gai. Ete Kira Gai, Idhe Vito, Mudha Maki Wa Matwini. Idhe Vito, Gai Vito, Gorosito, Na Meashiri Ya Maito. Mate Yaki Gogo Nageke Gai Vito, Mudha Maki Wa Matwini. Na Nagedha Gai Vito, Kagego Watu Wareli Yaho Mwadhani. O Kagego Tonyamaro Raho Mudha Maki Wa Matwini. Idhe Vito, Kira Adhi Maga Idhe Vito, Mudha Maki Mwega Gai. Erodas gai dhe vito wakani dhoi o muadhani. Oke makinyeri ya wega waku na otugi waku gai. Na nige dha gai dhe vito maroga mage hare ya hare haku muadhani. Na nige dha gai dhe vito mudha maki wa matwini. Maka higi ya wedo waku gai vito. Na nige dha gai dhe vito kagoswa na wakate o muadhani. Oke gai dhe vito kore diko ni muadhani. Oke mudha maki wa matwini kwa ikudisi o dhe gai. Na nige dha maudu maya gai dhe vito tore kaga gai. Dhini waki gogona inegeke gai. Mate hitha gia reto wale ya kumu wadhani. Neke o gaithe vito netu wagueta. Gaithe vito wale ya nagoro sito na meashiri ya maito. Ono tuwe kire hinya gai vito mudha maki wa matwini. Na negeza tuwe kage orea gai vito wea daga muwadhani. Thegyo gai vito netu wadho niyo gue kogu wa gai. Gaithe vito tosi gerganero wa gai vito mudha maki wa matwini. Ono ne kanitha wadhe o dhe gai vito mudha maki wa matwini. Gaithe vito toka hoya kiko gona gea kugetheru gai. Mudha maki wa matwine idhe vito soke koroga maa gai. Na negeza kiwa gya kuga idhe vito ke huje gai. Iturine siyo de siya de mudha maki wa matwine. Na negeza gai idhe vito mudha maki wa matwine. Ogosu wa no teo ne todo hewe gai mune ne muadhani. Idhe vito ne dhekio gai ne todo ni ogo teo na ni ogo abarario. Nareu gai idhe vito ni ogo kora adwe ige oko boine muadhani. Gai idhe vito mudha maki wa marute oko boine wa moshukani. Ne todo hewe gai ori amune ne muadhani. Neto wa hoya gai vito mudha maki mwega oserere ya duwa ku gai. Neto wa hoya gai dhe vito mudha maki neto adu wa maboroli mwode gai. Ona toke lirika na maboroli wa isiraeri mudha maki wa matuini. Olea gai dhe vito ogeta na abara mudha maki mwega gai. Na neto adu nwa ugeta dhe ine wakere kanere ine mwadhani. 
Ategai vito ni okaro gama na rorele Na okaro gama na israeli muadhani Gai vito mudha maki mwega agai Hare haku hatheru mudha maki wa matuini Hago tora hare haku mudha maki mwega agai Nare ugai the vito ni okoro erera gai vito Gai the vito kego gana gea kumudha maki mwega Na negedha oteo gai the vito ne dorele siyode Nare ugai vito maodo ine mama odhe gai Oto he gai the vito menya o gai Ono guori o gai vito mudha maki mwega Na negedha gai the vito to menya mahida marea tore gai Na negedha to shoke koroga mawega gai Ona gokwe ho kai the vito Na yo tuwe kai the vito mudha maki mwega Neke one tuwa gotea Na tuwa barari ya retu wale ya kumu wadhani Thank you gai vito mudha maki mwega Neto ado gai vito kego gana gedharu kia matuine Neto e gai vito kore na ado ito marware te me mesheine Me madhi vitare ine gai vito Mudha maki mwega maliri kana e gai Maki nyeri otugi waku na adha siyaku gai Nare mudha maki mwega na motugi gai Washo kako maliri kana mbu wadhani Gumo na rogoshi ni siyaku baba Neto ago tea Ona neto abarari ya retu wale ya kugai Ete kira mudha maki mwega kwenye maru rado wa kugai Ete kira aga hithe vito guhuka mudha maki mwega Ona gotoro erera mudha maki mwega agai Neto ado hithe tore ya kuko na muadhani Nare uga hithe vito ta hithe vito muadhani Ogi umona kurewe muadhani Geto radhi mene tu wago dha hitha Toki nyeri otugi waku na adha siyaku Hithe vito mudha maki mwega agai Hithe vito weka maudo maya mwodha agai Gumo na rogoshi ni siyaku muadhani Maria mwadha tana kwa kwa tera hithe vito Neto e gai vito ni omohe muadhani Noe siya na hirele kakegeli ya mudha maki wa matuine Hithe vito gai vito ka mudha maki mwega agai Osiro herele mudha maki wa matuine Gai hithe vito mudha maki mwega Oshoke ya kutuwe kota hithi ya wa mudha maki mwega Ona nigeza gai vito makwe hoke Ona gai hithe vito maro herele maudu ine me mwadha agai Neto aduwewe gai yoli ya mwene mwadha ni Neto agotea Na toga kutire gai tawe Turadhi mene tuwa kutea muno muadhani Dheini wale tuwa rea kugai Na rea moro guwa jeso tuwa hoya Ona tuwa shoki ya gado Nitore ore igoro Re tuwa rea kunirea moro Oda maki waku ni uke Orea wede tewe Ndewe kawo kukudhi Oto rea kawo kwa igoro Toe omu dhiri usia uto igana Na utuwe here mehi ya maitu Oto rea idhi tuhagira na matu hagia Na ndo watu wale magire ini Na ugu tuhono kiyo tuhono kagia uru ini Ni undu tamakini waku Ona hinya Ona kogosho Tene na tene Amen Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa wale wanaingia kuna nafasi nyingi hapa mbele tafadhalini msisimame hapo nyuma. We have seats in front. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, nataka kuwashukuru nyinyi nyote kwa, kwa maana mmefika was ibada ya leo and we want to start our our Sunday service by our opening hymn that is golden bells number 167 tafadhali tusimame
yourselves to the standards of this world, but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind. Then you will be able to know the will of God, what is good and what is pleasing to him and is perfect. We can sit. So we have come to another session where we are going to uh, have various presentations and this time we will start with the children. Watoto wote tafadharini kujeni hapa bere na walimwen tafadhali. We are marching in the light of God. 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 We are marching. We are marching. We are marching in the light of God. So if you have a presentation, you present before prayers. Eh? So, do you have a presentation? So, we are going to give this chance to Elder Winnie to pray for the children, and the teens also should join this team. Teens. Good morning, Watoto. Uh, we are going to pray for the children. I hope Watoto Wate Wamekuja. Kuna watoto naona bando wameka ama watoto na teens I will request uh yeah, Christian education officials Kanka 
want to wish them success, so I'll give to Christian education to pass them, count to them. Wanasifiwe? Hallelujah. We are glad that you are about to do your exams, and uh, we are here to wish you success as we give you success cards. Okay? Brian Mushai? Brian Mushai? Eh, no, at Korea. Was that similar to Korea? Jared Leroy? Rachel Jeroge? Felix Victor Karoga? Melissa Wanjiko? Michael Ma Maiba? Clara and Jerry, Brian Mushai, <laughs> Asanath Kihara, Naskia Wengine wa Menda Kenyatta Road, Bradon Mugo, Avril Jerry, Alvin Mwangi, Nimrod Moro Isaac Kinyanjui Rachel Gatia Travis Ndegwa Tresha Wanjiro Nice, Nyawera. Nice, Nyawera. Anne Wamboy. Chris Duranera. Derek Maina. Derek Maina. James Ndongo. James Dongo, Joy Kifefe, George Kamau, Greg Kamau, Greg, Greg, Brandon Maina, Sharon Moshir. Mushiri, Kennedy Kifefe, Joseph Wanderi, William Ravi, William, Yvonne Duta, Timothy Kamau, Michelle Sharago, Marian Kamau, Marian Kamau, Hope Wamaida, Kuria, Michelle Kanen, Michelle Kanene, Michelle Kanene. Tyrone Gatia. Marian Kamau. Tyrone. Okay, ukikutana na mmoja ambaye unajua, tafadhali muambia aje, tumpatie success card. And all the best, may God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, Christian Education, and uh, the success calendar with Lucy. So if uh, 
you want the name and you have not picked, you can pick from uh, uh, someone to lead us with the Apostles' Creed. Kanisa to Smame. I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, maker of heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Spirit, was crucified, died, and buried. He decided him to hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He decided him to heaven, and he seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the salvation of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we come into your presence this morning. We thank you, dear Father, for this wonderful day, dear Father, and even the children, dear Father, that are in presence of us, Jehovah. Lord God, you know that children are blessings from you, dear Father, and it is you, dear Father, who is the giver of them, Jehovah, and your blessings make it richer than death in our sorrow, Jehovah. We commit our children and your able hands, Jehovah. Thank you, Father, that you have enabled them, dear Father, even to carry through, dear Father, to this time of the year. Lord God, it is by your grace, dear Father, that they went to school and came back, dear Father, same free Jehovah. Lord God, at this time, dear Father, we commit them unto your heavenly hands, Jehovah, and we pray that, dear Father, as even they interact and pray around doing this already, Jehovah, you shall take care of them, dear Father, in all that they do, Jehovah. Give your angels charge over them, dear Father, to watch over them, dear Father, and even as they interact, Jehovah, we pray, dear Father, and say, dear Father, there is no weapon of the enemy, dear Father, formed against our children that shall prosper, Jehovah. They will interact with the right company, Jehovah. They will, dear Father, even do that which, dear Father, is is accepted of you, Jehovah, as even they spend their holiday, Jehovah. And you pray, dear Father, even for your provision upon them, dear Father, whatever they may need, Jehovah, may you provide to their parent, Jehovah. Even those, dear Father, that would want, dear Father, even to be here and they are not here, dear Father, be with them, dear Father. Keep them in divine health, Jehovah, and may you heal even those that are sick, Jehovah, among us, them, dear Father, that, dear Father, you are healing, and, dear Father, be upon them, dear Father. Continue, dear Father, even to bless them, dear Father, and even as parent, Jehovah, grant us even the wisdom that we, dear Father, we may teach and raise, dear Father, God-fearing children, Jehovah. Continue, dear Father, even to intervene in all their situations, Jehovah. At this moment, dear Father, we remember, dear Lord, even the candidate, Jehovah, those that are sitting for the exam, Jehovah. It is by your grace, Jehovah, that they have been able, even, dear Lord, to come this far, dear Lord. And we are praying, dear Father, as they sit for the exam, Jehovah, may they, dear Father, have the mind of Christ, Jehovah, even to remember all that they have been taught in school, Jehovah, even, Lord God, to understand, Jehovah, the spirit of confusion or fear, dear Father, may it not be upon them, dear Father, but grant them the spirit to remember Jehovah and even to understand Jehovah. And your favor be upon them as they sit for their examinations, Jehovah. From the start, dear Father, even to the head, Jehovah, and even as they come back, Jehovah, home, Jehovah, be with them always, Jehovah, and continue to walk with them, dear Father, this journey, dear Father. We pray that our children, dear Father, will be mighty in the land, Jehovah, and Lord God, they will align to the destiny and the will that you have for them, dear Lord, because we have great plans and purpose for them in their life, Jehovah. Continue, dear Father, to watch over them and to give your angels charge over them, dear Father, in their coming and in their going out, Jehovah. And continue, dear Father. <laughs> Oh. 
this time we have the choir, the choir.
Let us appreciate all those who have presented again. Thank you for the word of voices. At this juncture, we want to welcome Elder Moses Mogi for intimations and announcements. Praise be to God. God is good. And all the time, and that is his nature. One as if you I'm born again this morning. I have the joy of the Lord in my heart. I'm holding brief for Elder Jigona. One as if you We'll start with welcoming all of us in our Father's house, feel at God's presence. One as if you it's really an honor to honor that holy day, the Sabbath day. And in the same breath, I want to welcome our visitors. If you are there, you are fellowshipping with us for the very first time by the show of hand. Are you there? Konawageni. I want to recognize the presence of Wamogo. Mikitambo sana kwe nasi. Wamogo toka idio kwa. Roka mo toka idio kwa Wamogo. That is the youngest lady we have in our church. Bona sifiwe. We shall observe the climax of PCMF Mission Week coming Sunday, 5th November, and as a result, the PCMF will be on duty. So we are requested to continue supporting the men fellowship during that week. And therefore, PCMF Mission Week will be launched tomorrow. The week starts tomorrow. The Mission Week will be launched tomorrow. And no men are requested uh, men are requesting the church to, to pray for, for them and to prepare to support them financially on Sunday 5th. So Sunday 5th, coming Sunday, to Kuja to Jitarisha to support our men. Bona uh, We are requested to continue supporting Midamo's family, that is John and Elizabeth, uh, to during to, to continue supporting them in their wedding preparation through prayers and financial giving. Midamo na John na Elizabeth wako nasi wasimame. This is Madam. Kago tigire. That is Mr. Midamo tunajua Elizabeth to pigie makofi. And uh, in the same breath, we have wedding preparation committee meeting. So all of us are being invited today at their residence in Wildridge Estate. Uh, that is Trinity District um, at their house number 051 starting at 5.30pm. So sote, tumekaribishu wa pale kwa namutano wa Clarisha Yuharusi. We shall be, we shall have parish level group um, elections today starting at 1.30 p.m. at PCA Kenyatta Road uh, Church. This is for all of us who are elected at the congregation level in the following groups. PCMF, Women's Guild, Youth, Boys and Girls Brigade, Church School, and evangelism. So if you are elected as an official in, the, in, those, um, in those six groups, we are requested to meet uh, the rest of uh, others from the other congregations to erect office uh, bearers at the parish level. Sindio, 
So this is order to Kimarisa service. If you are erected, we are going to meet there at PCA Kenyatta Road Church from 1.30 p.m. There should be a parish convention starting Friday 24th November to Saturday 26th November and the evangelism group will keep on updating as we proceed. The family of Elder David Maina and Elder Winnie Moshai want to register their appreciation for your support and prayers during their ordination service and ceremony. Wishing Elder Winnie, Elder Winnie, Sremia Ivo, and the minor God's blessings as you continue serving in the Lord's vineyard. To a piggy and a coffee. The midweek fellowship venues are as follows. Trinity District will meet at Team Nawagoi, popularly known as Wamwagi. Berea will meet at Mr. and Mrs. Josephat Kamau. Bethlehem will meet at Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Mwerege Waeriki. Kanan District will meet at Mr. Uh, will meet at Elder and Mrs. Boro. Shiro District will meet at Mr. and Mrs. Nganga, Mama Sandra. Umonja will meet at Mr. and Mrs. John Boro. And Umoja Fellowship, they will fellowship uh, on 5th November, that is on Sunday. Judea will meet at Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Nganga, house number 26. So, Sote, we continue encouraging all the members to participate uh, in midweek fellowship. Those are the venues. All the affected districts in terms of deacons, they are requested to meet and erect new or additional deacons on or before Sunday field. All those districts that were affected because of the new boundaries, they are requested to meet and erect new or additional deacons on or before 5th November. We have extended because Umoja will meet on Sunday. I have the following marriage bans and I will read as it is written. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Pius Kanyaru Getau and Sophia Nyaburamushiri of PCEA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present here aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there will be no valid objection raised, the welding will be ceremonized on Saturday, 18th November this year at PCEA Kenyatta Road Church starting at 10 a.m. This is the first reading. May the Almighty God bless the marriage of his servant. You are seen Lord service, Reverend Alfred Kanga parish minister. Those were the announcements. May God continue blessing all of us. Thank you. Buana Sefiwe Kanisa. Praise God. Jina langu ni Joseph Warutere. Nimeokoka Christo ni Buana. Nina tangazo tu moja ambalo nataka kuatangazia. And this is for the benefit of all of us. Na especially wale hawakuweza kuenda Kenyatarud. Wakati tulitangaziwa district zetu. Nivye makujua katika hii kanisa sasa. Kwanzia that Sunday. Tukona 
tui, tuko na seven districts na ningetaka kuwasomea the district vile ziko uh, district ya kwanza ni umoja district he district it, it is co it comprises of pavilion estate dakoma that is fahari na kwawaria dhangari and bd estate the elder in charge is david minor tumpigia makofi <laughs> bethlehem district nayo ni chai estate vile ilivyo and the elder in charge of that district is elder nicholas joguna tumpigia makofi <laughs> trinity district nayo ndio widridge estate vile ilivyo Ah, uh, hiyo haikugawa kwa hivyo the elder in charge of it is a uh, elder winfred mushai tumpigia makofi <laughs> tuko na kanan district kanan district ni paradise estate na woodre court paradise district na woodre court the elder in charge of that district is elder Ken Gidenji tumpigia makofi Oh Moses ah ni elder Moses tumpigia ye Moses makofi Nilikuwa nimekunyaganya district pole Ah uh, Judea Judea district ni Breeze Park Amboseri Court Breeze Park Annex na divine estate the elder in charge is elder mushai tumpigia makofi <laughs> berea district berea district tuko na bliss park serengeti mara samburu savo na brook close estate na elder ken is in charge of that district tumpigia makofi <laughs> last but not least tuko na chiro district tuko na two rivers eden bliss uh, riverside grove estate na riverside two rivers estate yote vile ilivyo na hata wale wote wa komurera and the elder in charge is elder joseph warutere tumpigie makofi <laughs> najua ya kwamba we have taken up our district and from thursday the coming week last week tulikuwa na maybe two elders in the district but kuanzia thursday ambayo inakuja sisi zote tutasoma pahali tumetangaziwa na ama tutatangaziwa na tutakuwa na elda wetu. Uh, ni kushukuru Mungu tu kwa vile ameweza kutubariki na kutupanua. Kwa wakati huu nataka kumalizia na kuinvite elda David na elda Wini. Sasa tutazoea kuwaona hapa mbele. Si ni kweli? Tumpigie Mungu makofi. God bless you. Bona sifiwe. Let us appreciate Elda Warutere and Elda Mogi. Thank you for the announcements and I hope each one of us tumeshika yote yale ambayo tumeambiwa. At this point I want us now to go to the readings. And the readings will be read by Caroline Wamoyo and Grarisan Wajiru. The first reading comes from 2nd Kings 22nd and 
the sec, uh, the fa- that is the first reading, and the second reading comes from Psalms. They will tell us and they will guide us. Karibu. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem that one year. His mother's name was Jedida, daughter of Ad- Adia. She was from Bozikathi. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed completely the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. In the 18th year of his reign, King Josiah sent his secretary, Safani, son of Vazila, the son of Meshulam, to the temple of the Lord. He said, go up to Hakiah, the, the high priest, and have him get ready the money that has been brought into the temple of the Lord, which the doorkeepers have collected from the people. Have them entrust it to the men appointed to supervise the work on the temple. And... Have these men pay the workers who repair the temple of the Lord. Now, uh, chapter 6. The carpenters, the builders, and the masons also ha- have them purchase tiba and dress stone to repair the temple. But they need not account for the money entrusted to them because they are honest in the dealings. 8. Hakiah the high priest said to Safani, the secretary, I found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. He gave it to Safani, who read it. Then, then Safani, uh, the secretary, went to the king and reported to him, Your officials have paid out the money that was in the temple of the Lord and have entrusted it to the workers and the supervisors at the temple. Then Safani, the secretary, informed the king, Hakiah, the priest, ha- has given me a book. And Shafani read the book in the presence of the king. 11. When the king heard the word of the book of the law, he tore his robes. He gave these orders to Hakiah the priest, Hakim, son of Shafani, Akobal, son of Micah, Micah, Shafani the secretary, and Asia the king, the king's attendant. Number 13. Go and inquire of the Lord. Go inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for the people all Judah about what is written in this book that has been found. Great is the Lord's anger that burns against us because those who have gone before us have not obeyed the word of the book. They have not acted accordance with all that is written there concerning, there concerning us. I was reading um, Caroline Wamoyo. Be blessed. Praise God. Buana Sifiwe. I'm Gralisan Wanjiru, and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I will read for you from uh, the book of Psalms 19, Psalms 19, and from verses 7 to 11. Psalms 19. From verses 7 to 11, and I will read. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them there is great reward. And that is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Gladysan and Carol for reading so well and 
clear. We are going to have our preparatory hymn number 121 Tenzi Tusimame. Bwana kwa lango lako Yesu aliye mkombozi wa roho zetu tuingie hapo kwako tunapata ushindi na tipo baba hata hivi sasa tunataka kupitia kwa neno lako tukaweze baba kukujua zaidi na hata kukuamini zaidi na kutenda kama ulivyo panga tutende mimi niko hapa mbele yako wa hawa ndugu na dada wa kiketi nibaki nimesimama 
na kuomba tu nitumbie kama chombo chako cha kueneza injili yako neno lako na hata sheria kama vile unataka tuifuate baba tutakuita katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wa maisha yetu may you be seated kwa jina naitwa Nicholas Juguna and I love the Lord He is my savior. He got me when I was lost. He brought me home. And so the reason why I always say nitamtumikia kila wakati. Na kabla sijaendelea sana kuna familia ya Kimodho. Uh, ambao wana shukran kwa sababu ya vile mliwashikilia Kimodho ni drako na hari ya rugama Wilson Kimodho bibi yake kwa nimemuona ah namuona pale wanasema ni asanti kwa kuwashikilia kwa wakati walikuwa na majonzi wakati Caroline uh, mamake Caroline aliaga na hata amenikumbusha kwamba kanisa lilisimama na wao ata ikafika tukaenda mpaka kwenye mazishi santeni ah ne mwashi ya mukira <clears throat> now uh, neno la bwana ni kitu cha maana sana na neno lake ni kitu cha kutaka ama kutakia sisi mema and today we're going to read and we've read we're going to hear what god wants to tell us but before that i'll give you uh some status of some research that was done by scientists and more so one is by the world uh, health organization and it says when children don't get the right nutrition in their first 1000 days starting from conception up to the second birthday they will grow up to be stunted that is affecting their height child's brain development the immune system and again in adults malnutrition causes decrease in energy for routine activities muscle loss and it can also impact the immune system all this can lead to reduced quality life in another report out of a research by an organization called the life research says that those who regularly attend protestant churches are consistent are inconsistent in their reading and thinking about scripture and this is like poor nutrition to human bodies and it has the effect of stunted spiritual growth and what we are seeing in our first reading is a generation that god had brought from afar from the time of abram and all the way to this time that we are reading about king josiah they are people that god had brought through moses from the land of egypt a land of slavery and they had had a lot from god himself moses had gotten the book of law and in deuteronomy we read that the book of law was to be always kept beside the ark of covenant and by the time of josiah who was who took the throne of judah at the age of 8 and ruled for 31 years in jerusalem after his father's assassination Josiah realized that he needed God to go through 
the leadership of the children of Israel or to be the head na hii mic nasikia ni kama iko na shida i don't know the mics today have a problem and we are told that in the 18th in the 18th year of his reign king josiah sent the court secretary shaphan the son of azalia and grandson of meshulam to the temple to the temple and because he felt that he needed to do something that had been neglected for long by his predecessors that is rebuilding the temple and so he was he sent his servant to go and talk to Hilkiah the priest on what he should do he advised him to take money and take it to the priest and he also advised him to tell the priest that they not, do not need to account for the money he already trusted them but something happens when uh, shafan uh, gets to hilkia after giving all the instructions and after giving all the money and advising him on what to do he is given a book and we are told that this book was found in the temple whether it had been hidden from the previous leaders so that they would not destroy it whether it was accidentally lost one thing is clear it was neglected the children of israel had neglected reading and following the book of law that's the torah so it's like they were being led by the worldly gods and if you read before jesaya you hear about manasseh and how cruel and godly he was meaning that they had no regard to the law that god had given moses and so even when he's given the book shafan read it and that is what the the bible records he read the book and he went back to king josiah the first thing that he did was to give an account of what he has done what josiah had sent him and you hear it comes like a by the way he had read the book yes but it like it's like it never touched whatever the contents of that book never touched his soul and so he tells his boss your servants have taken the money that was in the temple and have have handed it over to the men in charge of the repairs and then he said i have here a book that hilkia gave me i have here a book that hilkia gave me it's like he was not in the generation of moses and it was many years after and it's like he had never heard about that book it is just a book it's not even a book that had been given handed down to moses and to the generations after by god himself it was just a book and so he read it he 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 read it to the king but when the king had the book being read he reacted the king reacted he realized how astray they had gone as israelites he realized that they were not following what god had commanded them to do at that point to help hear the priest it was just a book he has found a book to shafan who read it and he was a scribe and the scribes were meant to read and understand thoroughly 
the word of God, he just passed the word that it is just a book. And so, we are told in Deuteronomy 31, 24 to 27, Massive, you can get me. There was a command that these people had been given. And it was that the book of the law always be kept besides the Ark of Covenant. In Deuteronomy 17, 18 to 20, each king was to have a personal copy to be read to an assembly of the nation after every seven years to keep the law reminded to the people of Israel. Again, you realize that the Levites had been given the authority and they were chosen by God to be preaching the word of God all over the country. But just like I had said, they had neglected. They had neglected reading the word of God. Now, we've just realized that when the contents of the book are read to the king, he reacted in verse 13. Take it to 2 Kings 22, 13. When the king had the words of the book, and the king inquired of the Lord for me, Go and inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for all Judah about what is written in this book that has been found. Great is the Lord's anger that burns against us because who have not gone against us because those who have gone before us have not obeyed the words of this book. They have not acted in accordance with all that is written there. Josiah was touched and he was convicted by sin. He realized that all those leaders who went before them, who went before him, and even the people who went before the Israelites then had neglected the word and the anger of the Lord was upon them. So he was convicted by sin. And In our situation, we desire to seek the face of God. We are commanded by the Holy Book to always be in touch with Him, to seek Him, to follow His commandments. And have we been doing it? The king, after realizing that, he went into a mode of repentance. He tore his clothes in repentance. He was touched. And that is what we are calling conviction by sin. The king was advised by the law of God to go back to the roots. Teaching the word of God. When we read the scriptures, we realize where we are going astray. When we read the Bible, we realize where our transgressions against the Lord are. When we read the Bible, it instructs us on the way forward from the time we realize that we are going wrong. And that is going back to the roots, spiritually. When we read the Bible, we get to grow. We get to desire to seek the face of God. 
we get to understand are the shortcomings in our lives. When we read the Bible, we get to understand the joy that the Lord would want us to have in our hearts and in our lives. This is the realization that Josiah had. And if you are to read down there, God passed judgment and had already passed judgment through the prophet that he sent uh, his servants to seek from the Lord. And the judgment was the Israelites would suffer. But because he repented, but because he took his own or rather he made efforts to remind the Israelites of what they should do and that the book of the Lord should be with them every time and that they should read it and that they should repent. Josiah was promised to pass on in peace. And like his predecessors, those who went before him, he was told that he will not see, he will not live to see the judgment, that he will go in peace, but... One thing is for sure, God will come and punish the Israelites. Now, tuko katika hali hii ya leo. And just like we began by saying, have, are we suffering from stunted spiritual growth? Are we suffering from stunted spiritual growth because we do not read the Bible? Are we suffering spiritually because we have neglected reading the Bible? We were taught in Sunday school, like today we have the young ones who are being taught, and they are very good at reciting the Bible. And we were that good in reciting the Bible in our young days. The teens are already in class. They are going through the same. What about us adults? What do we do after coming to church and listening to what is preached from the pulpit? Are we convicted as we listen to what Josiah went through? Do we feel like we have neglected reading the word of God as we listen to this? How many times, and I would want to ask this question, smartphones? Maybe by a show of hands. How many have had smartphones? Do you have a Bible copy or copies in it? How many times do you open the Bible to read it? Against, vis-a-vis, the WhatsApp. Instagram. How many times? Let's be truthful to ourselves. Really. But a day, a minute cannot go without you referring to what Elder Nicholas could have sent to the group. LCC. Are we convicted? Are we feeling like we are neglected? We are neglecting the law. Are we growing spiritually? We need a revival. We need a revival so that we go back to the book. We go back to the roots and start reading the Bible. I feel like why we draw back and go back in time, like most men would want us to go is because we have so little knowledge of what is contained in this book that God gave us. Hatuelewi kilicho hapa. Hatuelewi ni ngani ni ngani ni mambo gani ambayo tunatakana kufanya kunena na yale ambayo tunakatazwa ama tunakanywa na kitabu hiki. Hatuelewi neno la Mungu. That's why 
when a group comes and give itself a name, na sana sana sisi wanaume tunakimbilia kule. Pero ni kiyama, ni kiyaga, ni kiyama kiu. Eh? Kwani hapa hakuna ukweli? Siku na ukweli hapa. Kwa nini tunakimbia ovyo ovyo? Tunajieleza ya kwamba wakati tunafanya biashara lazima tuwe kule kwa mikutano ya kanywaji siku mzima. Ati huko ndio biashara inatendekea. Who cheated you? God wants everything good for you and it is all contained in this book. And he can bring it to your door. Hata kama umelala, kitabu kinatuambiaje? Maradhi magogi ya metro. Si ndio? Baraka za Mungu zinaweza kukujia hata kama umelala. Usiende kujiharibu Ijumaa Jumamosi na ikifika Jumapili ulikuwa unataka na ulikuwa na nia ya kwenda kanisani ulisikia neno la Mungu inakuwa hutaweza kwa sababu ya hangover. You listen so much to your peers to the extent that when you hear the calling from God the conviction of sin you always have an excuse Mungu anakuita uje kwake uokoke wewe inakuwa ni kama kwamba unaona utachekelewa utachekelewa na wenzako watakucheka kwani kuna kitu watakupa the moment biashara yako na mapato yako yatapungua utapata kujua huku na marafiki na rafiki wa karibu ni Yesu ukikosa pesa ya kununua kama watakavyo basi utajipata peke yako lakini kama umegemea kwake Mungu unapata kusimama wima unapata kujua sheria zake Mungu unapata kuishi vizuri na unapata kujua hata ni wakati gani unafaa kuwa mahali fulani na ni wakati gani haufai kuwa mahali pale kwa sababu yote yako katika hiki kitabu. Na tunaulizwa kila mara tuweze kusoma neno lake Bwana. Take your time. Let us not indulge so much into the daily activities of this world without reading the word of God. Uingi hapo kitandani. When you go to bed before you just sleep can you just open your smartphone read a chapter or even a verse and it is going to bless you make it a habit I was watching a clip that was going round through WhatsApp and there was a comparison and maybe you can search a comparison between Christians and Muslims to recite a verse in the Quran any and that's what the researcher was doing and he was he went fast to christians asking them it is not in africa somewhere i think america and he was going into the streets asking watu wakikutana na wao wale ambao walikutana na wao can you recite to me a verse in the bible and he would first ask them to what faith do you confess and those who said that they confess to christianity could always get baffled and they would have no word majority of them in whatever language because i think he went round i only saw two young germans recite because they recited in german and he said it is in german but a majority of christians could not but you know what happens when he got to mostly islam and muslims he was actually even stopping them you know cutting them short because he can read a whole chapter of quran from the mind muislamu mtoto mdogo mkubwa alikuwa ni kama quran iko kwa Now that tells us 
tumelala na tunatakana kuamuka tulisoma kutoka kitabu cha Psalms 19 and it was telling us the law of the Lord is perfect and revives one life The rules set down by the Lord are reliable and imparts wisdom to the experience to the inexperienced. Ebu tuweke pale. Meaning that the scriptures we revive our spiritual and physical lives. They are reliable. And like all the things it does not falter. It does not change or fluctuate. It does not lose clarity. The Bible remains the same. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. Ama kuna mabadiliko? Neno la Bwana ni lile lile. And that's why it said it's reliable and it refreshes our souls. utakuwa na hekma ukilisoma neno la Bwana it will impart wisdom to the inexperienced if you read the word of god you'll be wiser the word makes us joyful at wakati you are facing calamity When things are hard kama wakati huu ambao tunalia uchumi ni mbaya kwa wale ambao wanamuelewa Bwana kupitia neno lake tunajua ya kwamba siku inakuja ambayo mambo yatabadili and so we have hope because this good book gives us hope we are not hopeless we are joyous because we know this is just but a passing cloud itapita hata wakituambia el nino itakuja tunaomba Mungu isiwe el nino ya kumaliza na inakuwa vile kwa sababu Mungu amenena nasi na akatuambia ya kwamba lolote lile tuombalo tunaweza hata tujibu si ndio tunayofungua humu duniani hata binguni anafunguli where do you get such words they are from the bible Na tunaposema twende tukamuombe Mungu mvua ije tunajua ni kwamba yote yako katika hiki kitabu So we it is a reliable word because Mungu alisema akisema kitu yeye amesema silo Neno lake litopako mbiguni lianguke chini halitarudi bure atatimiza ye mwenyewe And so we are reminded that we should read the scriptures so that God's instructions impart obedience and offer guidance That is what happened to Josiah King Josiah Aliposomewa neno aliweza kujua ya kwamba wamepotea njia and he was given instructions and he told the israelites they need to be obedient reading the word of god will make us wise in the face of many challenges reading the word revives our souls and bodies making us joyful even when faced with worldly calamities reading the word of god leads us leads us to repentance and god will always take us through Ukisikia wengi ambao wanapinga neno nasi tunashindwa ku defend neno Ni kwa sababu gani tunashindwa ku defend hili neno wakati linapingwa Ni kwa sababu ya yale ambao tunasikia siku ya leo because we don't understand what is contained herein I'm not saying that I'm perfect I am in the same boat. And God 
would want us to hear that we need to read the Bible. We need to be conversant with every chapter and every word. To Kienda Pale, Kenyatta Road, Wakatu Islam, Nana, may I pity up Kenyatta Road, Islam, Wakio Pale, Wakio Berry? Who has ever taken time to listen to what they preach? Kunomto Aishi Skiza. What do they preach? They preach the Bible. Sindio? Yeah, yeah. Let, let me, let me, let's say so. They preach the Bible. But they are preaching against the Bible. But they do it with a lot of understanding of what is read. I mean, uh, or rather, they are conversant with the verses in the Bible. They might not understand. And they might understand and would want to change your mind away from the Bible. But they have an understanding of what is in verse what and in chapter what. Nikupinga wanapinga ndio. Na wanataka kuwa wengi wasiwe katika dini ya ukristo. Ili waingie kwa upande wao. And they've managed. And they would call people to respond or even to say anything that they know about the Bible. Any chapter, any verse. And the preacher will counter that. Na hata soma, hata anesa kukupatia biblia usome. Na ukisema, he will counter. Actually, it's against the Bible. But they show you that they have read the Bible. Wame soma neno, lakini wanaligeuza. Sisi, ambao tunaenda pale, kujitolea ya kwamba you know a verse. Unatoka pale kama umeaibika. We cannot defend it because we don't know it. The thing is, can we read the Bible? Can we understand the Bible? Can we be led by the Bible? And we live a joyous life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Antibana. Kwa sababu ya neno lako. Na baba, niombi letu kwamba utatupa muda fursa na baba utaweza kutuongoza tukaelewe neno lako baba tukaweza kuacha mengi ya dunia ambayo yanatuongoza kila siku na tunatafuta tu muda wa kusoma neno lako tukaweza kulielewa baba tuwaomba roho mtakatifu akatuongoze kama vile aliweza kumuongoza Josaya akaelewa kitabu cha Tora kinasema nini akaweze kutuongoza ili tukajue neno lako tukaweze baba kuwa na furaha tukaweze baba kurudi katika njia zako tukaweze baba kutenda kama upendavyo baba tukaweze kuwa na ufanisi katika maisha yetu tukaweze baba kuacha njia ambazo haziendi kwako baba tuasema ni asanti kwa sababu ulipea hili neno Musa na baba ukamtuma falme wetu Yesu Kristo akaja kutufunza na kuongezea maaba kitabu chako. Tuwakushukuru kwa sababu wale ambao walioandika hapa baba uliwatuma wakaweze kunena kama ulivyopenda kama vile mtume Paulo. Letu baba ni kuamkia kila siku na kusoma neno lako ndilo tuwaomba. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Let us appreciate our preacher. Thank you, Elder Juguna, for accepting to be used by the Lord. You have reminded us about what we have always been told, that the Bible is our manual. Everything that is money-made has a manual. Sindio? 
whatever a vehicle, any machine, is normally given users manual. Nasi, kama Christians, our Bible is the manual. Let us go for the hidden treasures within the Bible, and we will get a lot of insights if we go by what our preacher has told. May God bless you so much, and we are going to read the Bible so that we understand. So at this juncture, we are going to call upon Elder Moshai so that he can lead us in tithes, offerings, and thanksgiving. Karibu sana. Hey, bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe tena. Hey, kwani kaima. Bona sifiwe tena. <laughs> Santi sana. Thank you very much. So, sasa ni wakati mwingine wa tithe and offering. Kuna our envelopes ambao zinapita pale na kama tuliambiwa ukitoka uh, unaweza chukua the same envelope. Unaweka by the time ukuje next week you already have your tithe kwa envelope. Alafu tutaanza kukuja hapa wenye tuko na hiyo tithe. Kwa pay bill number yetu ni ile ile 2472474000. Sasa mlikuwa mnaona naenda na kuja in and off sio kwa ubaya there is a teen service ambao tumeanza na was also involved in uh, some areas that was why na nimetumwa eh uh, sisi ndio wazazi wa hawa teens there is a point inafika hata nao wana fanya offering. Wanafanya nini? They are offering. Kama leo by the time ifike wanakuja hawana anything, wanatuambia mzazi akupanipatia kitu. Si ni sisi wazazi. Tukue tunakumbuka tunawape tunawapatia sadaka. Tunawapatia at least some offerings. Hawa watu wangi tithe lakini wanatoa offering. Offering kutoka kwa wazazi. Nae kaka hao. Toka alilika na next week eh na tomo hako mahe sio lazima ikue 10 shilling ama ile 20 coin apana well if it is the only one is sawa but you can even give notes kwani kuna shida kuna shida notes kubwa hata 1000 naona anga shida wataleta tu uzuri wa wa, wa children they are very faithful kipatia 1000 moja wanale si tuone tuangalie tuone next week kama wataileta ama <laughs> anyway ya yeah, lakini eh, let us make sure tume tunawapatia because they also have a lot of activities and they are relying on that offering. Si ni sawa? Next week eh na tutakuwa tunawa release those who are about junior high school standard 8 form 1 to form 4 watakuwa wanasomea pale ile room ya juu that is where the teen service is lakini watakuwa nakuja hapa kwanza na hata wengine the same place. Etia ga hau. Sawa. Kito ali ya mahodha ambao wametoa tithe tutakuja hapa mbele na tuko na Oh. They are the same things eh? Sawa. Kuna kuna tithe wako wapi wa tithe? Tunaweza simama as we continue coming in wale those ambao tumetoa tithe na tumeandika jina pale ama is optional but you can write district lakini unaweza kuja hapa mbele tuombe pamoja good thank you sawa ah good wenye wako na both that's giving na hapa tithe ah tithe ah thank you ni mzuri tutaomba pamoja si ndio tuombe 
Abba Father, we come before you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ with a lot of thanksgiving. Tunakushukuru. We thank you. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe. We thank you for your kindness, for your love, for your mercy. Tunasema ni asante. Wewe, you are everywhere. Omnipotent uh, God. Omnipresent God. Omniscient God. Ambaye kila kitu unakijua. Ni asante kwa you created all of us including everything that there is nothing that came without you including chakula mavazi shelter all that the important basic needs ambao umetupatia mpaka wewe tunakuita Jehovah Jire tunakushukuru mpaka ukatupatia your only begotten son Christ Jesus akakufa akakufa akafufuka because of that we became your children ndio tunakuita aba father asante sana hata wakati huu tumekuona na tunashukushukuru mpaka hawa ambao wamesimama hapa mbele zako wengine wako na tithe wengine wako na tithe na pamoja na thanksgiving hata na wengine wako na thanksgiving hapa tunakushukuru unawajua and you know mungu uh, for the things ambao they have come to thank you wamekuja and i know many are provided for but they don't remember to give thanks lakini hawa they have remembered just you, like you did hata na hawa ukumbuke that you breathe, you, you also remember their families and uh, their business you remember everything na uwaonekanie and you bless each one of them asante hata wengine who have given their offering mungu tunasema ni asante even all of them that you are going to remember each one of us in a big and mighty way because you know all of us that lord you will remember our families you remember hata pale tunatoa pesa hata kama ni kwa shamba hata kama ni kwa kazi hata kama ni biashara hata wengine tukupewa tunapewa mungu uwabariki wale wote wanafanya hiyo kazi na wale ambao hata wanatupatia asante even as we continue playing that lord you continue even giving us your holy spirit to continue dwelling in our heart so that he continue to show us the way to give us the counsel and to give us wisdom and uh, uh, to be always with us hata wakati ambao ni mngumu asante kwa yote and now tunajua mungu even as we go home utakuwa na sisi na mungu tunakushukuru because of this we pray believing and trusting in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen sasa tutaweka tithe na offering na thanksgiving Ah, oh, that's giving you my pity up. Christ the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen god bless you so we have come to the end of our service today before uh, 
I conclude from Elder Moses Mogi. He is requesting all Canaan district members to be left behind after the service. And also from the chairman, PCMF, he is requesting that all men to be left behind for a brief meeting after the service. There is a clarification that we want to make. What was already uh, put in our, on our uh, social media pertaining the election of a uh, uh, treasurer. We already did it last time when we had the elections, so we will not have the elections. But uh, the chairman, PCMF, is requesting that all men meet briefly because of the week that is ahead. Uh, I want to appreciate all. I want to thank God for the chance that he has given us. I, who was reading, I am David Miner, Wabogo, more to that, I am saved. I, wish, I want to wish you well, have a blessed week, and may God bless you all. We are going to give a place and worship a, a chance. Oh, sorry, I'm being re... Okay. We are going to have our closing hymn, that is Tenzi 157, to Simame.